right, we'd like to welcome you to today's edition of the program you've been waiting for. Of course, uh, every Tuesday we are here live with our review broadcast on Friday at 9 a.m. My name is Festus Alenke. Welcome to the program Crime Watch Reloaded. We are hardly reloaded because uh, you can watch us right now anywhere in the world. Of course, you have opportunity of watching it. Even if you miss any bit of this addiction, all you need to do is just to get on the YouTube, just type Crime Watch Reloaded with Festus Alenke. Of course, the program will be at your doorstep. You can join us now on Go TV channel 104, and then you can also connect us on Star Times channel. One one four. Of course, my name is Festus Alain. Let's quickly have a rundown of what we're going to be having today due the course of our presentation here. This one has to do with uh, the 68 suspects that were arrested and uh, made public by men of the Edo State Police Command. The Commissioner of Police himself, I'm talking of uh, CP Paul uh, Ogbadu, was on ground to ensure that uh, the suspects were adequately paraded. We also have this story too, which is uh, all over the world right now which has to do with a 63 year old american nigerian that actually came home for the u tide he couldn't make it back to um, his base in america rather he was uh, kidnapped and killed here in benicia state and then we have that story too as a follow-up to it which has to do with uh, one suspect that was arrested in connection with that uh, killing while others too that were also smashed were killed um, in the process. Uh, we also quickly take you to a bizarre story which has to do with uh, an ambulance driver that was kidnapped with the with the body. Uh, talking, of, talking of the dead body that was inside the ambulance too. And then the, the younger brother of the late man was eventually kidnapped and taken into the bush. And very sad one there. A moment after that, we'll take you quickly to this uh, cast nation syndicate that were brought down by men of the Edo State Police Command. Uh, of course, uh, you're going to have that today during the course of today's presentation. The program we're on to right now is Crime Watch Reloaded. My name is Festus Alenke, your regular host. We'll take a short break right now. The program will be back in full. When a family in Elugu State feast date for the burial ceremony of their son who died. Hollandia Slim Evaporated Milk. All the nourishment of milk, 50% less fat. We'd like to quickly take the first story here today, which has to do with some suspects that were arrested by men of the Edo State Police Command. They were at least marched from various criminal hideouts across Edo State. Let's take that story quickly. The 68 suspects were arrested following a police tip-off. According to police reports, the suspects have been terrorizing Benin City and other parts of Edo State. The breakdown of the suspects shows that 17 suspected armed robbers were arrested, 13 cultists, kidnapping suspects 11, and 3 ritually suspects. Also arrested were 6 murder suspects, 5 suspects for unlawful possession of firearms, 1 rape suspect, while 2 kidnapped victims, 
were rescued. The police also confirmed that eight suspects were killed during Operation Y2 AK-47 rifles were recovered with eight locally made guns and 119 live ammunition. Some of the suspects narrate their level of involvement. What happened? Where did they come how much with the money in our The Edo State Commissioner of Police, CP Philip Ogbadu commended the Inspector General of Police, IGP Mohamed Adamu, and Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki for their support in smashing the criminals. CP Ogbadu called for the cooperation of the people of Edo State in checking criminal activities. He appealed to landlords, landladies, traditional rulers, motor park operators, and the public to be sensitive and watchful of new faces within their environment. From January 13 to Today, February 5th. That's the period which I have covered by my stay here. Other items recovered from the suspects include mobile phones, dummy guns, and cars. Right, uh, welcome back there we'd like to go straight now to another story here today which has to do with uh, the kidnapping and eventual murder of uh, a Nigerian who of course is based in America he hardly came home during the Christmas and New Year festivities and eventually couldn't make it back to the US because he was kidnapped at the Benin bypass and eventually found dead after about three to four days in Benin City but this time the police said they would not arrest. But in the meantime, let's really have the story now, which has to do with the kidnapping and eventual murder, because you sincerely joined the police team to recover the body in the bush. The said chief Abuda was on his way to Lagos to catch his flight to the United States of America after the Christmas and New Year festivities. Chief Abuda, who could not walk deep into the forest, was shot dead by the suspected gunmen. Similarly, the suspected syndicate then went further to attack another set of travelers who were then led into the forest. One of the female victims was raped in the process. The incident made the police to comb the forest where this suspect, upon sighting the police, opened fire. He was, however, brought down by the police while others escaped. At the point of arrest, the wedding ring of one of the victims was found on the finger of this suspect. The suspect narrates his level of involvement. Uh, what to be your name? Ibrahim. Ibrahim what? Adam. Adam? Yeah. Where are you from? Yobe State. Yobe State. Where for Yobe? At school. How many times are you kidnapped? This one, I'm the first one. The first one? Yeah. How you take company? So, my uncle called me. My uncle called Elijah. My uncle called me. So may you come in? Yes. Yeah, what did he tell you? He tell me, sir, may I come? Then, then, there, yeah. I say, okay, may I come? Uh huh. What did he call up when I come? So I say, I come. Uh huh. I say, I come. He tell me, sir, see, you in one walk. May Which walk? May I join him? For? I say, may I never do one walk? Which walk? In the, in the, this thing, this one, why would I hold me for him? Which, no. Which walk? In, in the kidnap people. Okay, kidnap people. Yes. Okay. So How many of them are going to the operation? Will be eight. What will be that guy name? Who? That guy. What will be his name? Hmm. Sadiq. Sadiq what? Sadiq. Uh, they call him Alaji Sadiq. Okay, Alaji Sadiq. Yeah. Where he come from? Come. So he, I don't know the village, but I know some where in they say sometimes they stay for Ogomo Junction. Hmm. Sometimes they stay for Ogomo Junction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many guns na carry? I uh, can get two guns. Okay. So how na they carry these people? So how how would they carry them? Then jam out for road. Then come it out for road. For road. Yes. That uh, they travel. Yes. Uh, mm. God just want them. Hmm. 
Our Oga come hold them. Come hold them? Yeah. Okay, how many people now hold that day? Then be four. Four? Yeah. Okay, how much now come call them? How much is your for them? So, this man, this policeman, why we hold? Mm. You own 800. Okay. That girl, 100,000. Mm. This, the one, the one, the two people, mm. we never collect one nera from them. And okay. so we just leave them, then come. They say that ring, now one of them ring, that wedding ring. Uh, I collect her with Elijah hand. I don't know, say now I'm come out. Okay, you come put them for? I come put them for my hand. Where will they stay for Bini? For Bini, yeah. Mm. So, me and everybody, when I come out, I stay for that new market. New market? Yes. Which of the new market? Market. For Egba market. Yeah, as they sleep there. Now they are sleep. In the morning, sometimes we we'll go clearing, sometimes we we'll don't get work, and so we we'll just there. Sometimes as they say cigar, and so the TV. You're not from Yobe? Yeah. Which work you they do for Yobe before you come in? A cow are there for two. Cow is the project? Yeah. Why, why you can't go to kidnap? It don't happen if you cheap brain. Mm. You know, say, if you like person things, one day, one day you will enter. Mm. So this one I'm with the first one I'm with the last one. The adjusted police relations officer SP Chidi Wambuzo wants criminals to relocate from Edo State. Police that is in charge of Edo State now is very gallant, energetic, intelligent, and well able to combat any crime and send the criminals to where they belong. As at press time, police manhunt for the remaining flame kidnapped suspects in the forest was already in progress. All right, uh, that story you know, has to do with uh, one of the suspects that was arrested alive because some others were also fed by men of the Edo State Police Command. So the suspect not too long ago eventually explained his role in the kidnapping and many other uh, criminal activities around the Ahor Bypass here in Benesti. But for now, let's go straight now to how Chief Dennis Abuda was first kidnapped and murdered and his body left in the bush and uh, four or five days thereafter, the body was found by a search team made up of both the police, the vigilante, and of course, Yossi Sierli was also there. Let's have that story quickly. Chief Dennis Abuda 63 years old, came to his hometown, Fuga, in Isakos central local government area of Edo State from the United States of America during the 2020 Yule Tide. After the celebration, he then decided to return to the United States of America on 30th January 2021. The deceased and three others who traveled with a Toyota Siena car from Fuga to Lagos for his flights to America was attacked by some heavily armed suspected kidnappers. The said gunmen we are said to have kidnapped Chief Dennis Abuda, Chief David Ogiake, Mr. Richard Bologi, the Siena car driver, and Mrs. Comfort, and taking them into the forest. It was revealed that while they were being led into the thick forest, Chief Dennis Abuda got exhausted and could not continue the journey. His inability to continue the journey into the forest of the unknown got the said kidnappers angry. They were said to have shot him dead on the spot and led others into the forest. They however opened a ransom negotiation to the tune of 50 million naira with the family members. But when the family members sought to speak with Chief Dennis Abuda, the suspected kidnappers forced the victims to say he was in another place. On Tuesday night, the other three victims were released after ransom while the whereabouts of Chief Abuda was unknown. The situation forced the Edo State Commissioner of Police, CP Philip Ogbadu, to lead a search party to the forest. The search team had the Ibubahi area commander, AC Adebawale Lawal, the divisional police officer, Egba Police Division, CSP Ayola Ojo, and other top police crack teams. During the search, the kidnappers' hideouts were raided where some suspects were arrested. 
in the process, the body of the third chief, Dennis Abuda, was recovered. Do you watch? Keep on, not put on his side. No, no. Keep on, put on his side. Put on his side. Two of the victims, Chief David Ogeache and Mr. Richard Bologi, said they were descending a hill near a Hobini bypass when the armed men intercepted their car and forced them into the bush. How many of you were in that uh, Siena? Four. Four, Four okay. Four. Including this men. brother now. Three men, yes. one woman. Okay. Yeah. So what can happen after I come out of the motor? We, they were shooting after we just came down from the vehicle. Okay. We were just uh, firing. No, no, you can't find out your brother now. You can't find him now. They were now calling for ransom. What happened thereafter? Because they were now always, he was found dead. They were always putting a gun on my head. Pop action that I should not tell my family that uh, my brother is dead. Yes. That if once anybody will make sure that the man is dead, that they will finish me immediately. So I have to oblige that. Uh, because they must give you an authority before you say anything. Okay. Once they call you to come and speak with your family to discuss about ransom, they will tell you what to, what to say. What to say, and if you see anything beyond that, then you scare the gun. They will, they will deal with you. So how many days did you spend in the bush altogether? Uh, they kidnap us on Saturday afternoon at about uh, two to two, uh, one thirty to two, and they re uh, release us on Tuesday evening at about six, six o'clock. The Ikbobahil area commander at the state, AC Adebo Wale Lawal, said the police. We continue to keep vigil on the Benin bypass as a way to keep criminals off the routes. It's better for these people to relocate. They just have to leave our area of responsibility. We have uh, five now. Five of the suspects. Five of the suspects, and uh, they promise to take us to the hideout. So as soon as we are done here, yeah, we are going to continue to where we have stopped. So now that the body has been recovered, what next? Yes, we are going to arrange for ambulance to evacuate the body and uh, probably release to the relations of the. This is the cooperation of members of the public, information they give to us, and the support of the government. As at press time, the remains of late Chief Dennis Abuda have been packaged in a body bag and sent to the mortuary for autopsy and other investigations. This is the footpath where the suspected kidnappers were said to have led their victims through into the forest. But according to all we gathered, Mr. Dennis Abuda could not continue the long journey into the deep forest, following which the suspected kidnappers were said to have shot him dead on the spot. For now, some suspects have been taken into custody by men of the Edo State Police Command. Well, because of this, thereafter, your guest has good as mine. From the Bini Bypass here in Bini City, Festus Alain Kher, EBS TV News. When a family in Elugu. Of uh, Chief Dennis Abuda and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in perfect peace. Away from that, quickly, of course, uh, we have this other story at the same spot as well, where an ambulance driver was uh, attacked by suspected kidnappers, and then the the relation of the deceased that was being taken to Enugu State from Lagos was kidnapped and taken into the bush. You know what? Very sad one because the deceased could not continue the journey anymore because uh, the brother was kidnapped and kept in the forest. Sad one. Let's have the story quickly. When a family in Elugu State feast date for the burial ceremony of their son who died in Lagos, little did they know that the burial ceremony will not hold after all. The body of their late son that has been in the mortuary in Lagos State 
was conveyed in an ambulance from Lagos to Enugu State for interment and other burial rites. The ambulance, which had the corpse and the younger brother of the deceased, set out on a journey from Lagos to Enugu as early as 6.30 a.m. But the journey was truncated as it ran into some suspected kidnappers who laid ambush on the highway. It was revealed that upon sighting the ambulance, the armed bandits opened fire on the driver. The driver managed to escape the bullets of the daredevil kidnappers, but the man driving behind him was not lucky as he was hit by stray bullets. The driver died on the spot. The sporadic gunshots forced the ambulance driver to an emergency stop, which made the vehicle to fall into a nearby ditch. The younger brother of the deceased, who was in the front seat of the ambulance, was kidnapped and taken into the bush. The journey was subsequently aborted as the ambulance was completely destroyed and the younger brother of the deceased kidnapped. The dead body was kept in the mortuary around Bini Auchi Road in Benin City while the family of the deceased opened a ransom negotiation with the kidnappers who are demanding for 5 million naira. The ambulance with registration number Lagos KROD 782GO is now in Ahor Police Station in Benin City. The driver identified as Salami Orijua described the attack as traumatic. He called for adequate security in major highways across the country. And what's your name? Talk out. Salami Orijua. What did happen? As you come from Lagos, I come from Lagos. Yes. So you can see. I'm here for front. What can you do? What can they buy me? Yes. As you see there, I think send a police say because they wear. What do you carry? I carry dead body. Okay, dead body for inside this ambulance. From where? From Lagos to where? To where? To where? Okay. Uh huh. As you see there, I think send a police say because I see one one person from that side. They carry gun. After they come see another person from that side, carry gun. Man, I'm going to tell you this one at you. Yes. If I talk that one finish, I come see another person. With this fake name. He fired the motor. He fired the motor. I said, fire my motor. I come. I come. Okay. Drama died for there. Yeah. My second said they follow me. They follow the police. Yes. They kidnap him. Okay. They kidnap the part where they escort dead body. Yes. Yeah. They kidnap him. So we want a dead body. We want a carry now. So they're not going to continue the journey again. Yeah. Yes. That's the no point. So the dead body now they mutual. What about where they want for do the party for that side? For any... You call they say they don't. Because the family they take for this side. Has it been a dead body? Not going to continue journey again, yes, brother. Yes, yes, yes. But the police say some suspects causing havoc on the Benin bypass have been arrested. As at press time, efforts were being made to release the brother of the deceased from the kidnappers' den as they insist of 5 million naira as ransom. All right, uh, you have hardly heard that now. It's on that note, we'd like to say thanks today for joining us on the program, Crime Watch Reloaded. Don't forget that uh, you have opportunity of joining us on this program by placing any adverts here. Not just any advert because uh, regulators will always tell us uh, one minute is all they can accept, and then we just have to go by the rules and regulations regarding the broadcast industry. Of course, uh, let's have this program same time, same station next week. I'd like to say thanks today to Ikmosa Ayewo, Blessing Iyamu, Christopher Ahime, of course, uh, special thanks to Sylvester Okwedo. Please, Okwedo, I'm born right. Is already on standby for the comprehensive news. Let's have this program same time, same station next week. First, us, Alain Khe is my name. <laughs>